Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT and I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to land your dream job. And how's that going to happen? Because it's going to, I'm going to show you how to set up the right prompts to handle the toughest questions you can get in interviews. I'm going to give you an example of some hard questions, but the prompt that I give you is going to work for any question they throw at you. So you can practice and create your own responses using ChatGPT and get that job. So here we go. Uh, let's start from scratch here. So what do I do? The first thing we're going to do is you need to go ahead and go to chat.openai.com and log in. Once you've got that, you need to input this prompt specifically. I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to start a new chat right now and I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So here's the prompt and I'm going to put this in the description below so you can have an example of it and you can just start using it. So here it is. You are an interviewer with 30 years of experience. Please provide me with the with ideal answers for the following questions. I will ask them one at a time. I will also provide context where I believe it will help. Please provide your specific reasoning for what you for why you answered the question the way you did. That's supposed to say why. Can you do that? Hit enter. It's going to say yes, of course I can do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. So why did we set the prompt up this way? You are an interview with 30 years of experience. This is simple. We want to prime ChatGPT, letting it know that you are a interviewer with all this experience. And when you pull your answers, it's going to come from an interviewer's perspective. Uh, not only that, a deeply experienced one. Please provide me with ideal answers for the following questions. I will ask them one at a time. We're asking them one at a time because if you punch in a couple of questions, it could get lost and start answering bits and pieces and, and it's hard to keep track of it. So it's better to go one step at a time. I will also provide context where I believe it will help. This is very specific. This is an open door. So if you have a specific type of interview, for example, you're getting interviewed, but they want you to answer in a star format, which is uh, situation, task, action, response, I believe, or result, pardon me, situation, task, action, res uh, result. That is different than maybe a standard uh, question, so our interview question. So keep that in mind. You could add context if needed. Please provide your specific reasoning for why you answered the question the way you did. This is the best part because not only is it going to give you an ideal answer, it's going to explain to you why it's an ideal answer. And keep in mind that GPT or ChatGPT has literally read everything on the internet up until the end of 2021. So uh, it knows all the things. So there you go. This is going to be good. So here we go. It says yes, it's going to ask and it's going to do its best to help us and it's going to do a great job. Let's go ahead and pull a question. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and load this up. There we go. And let's pull in uh, this question here. Uh, what's a hard question? Can you explain the gap in your employment history? This is a very difficult question. I'll use this as an example. So I'm going to copy and paste that in. Can you explain the gap in your employment history? Now, for me personally, this is an incredibly hard question because I used to drink. And uh, anybody that uh, used to drink knows that this is not easy. Okay, here we go. So here's an example. When addressing a gap in your employment history, it's important to be honest and provide a reasonable explanation. Here is an ideal answer. I had a gap in my employment history between this date and that date. During that time, I took a sabbatical or whatever specific to your, your needs to focus on personal and professional development. I, gain, I engaged in a variety of such acti of activities, such as attending industry conferences, taking online courses, and volunteering for a nonprofit organization. This break allowed, this break allowed me to broaden my skill set, gain new perspectives, and recharge myself to bring fresh ideas and enthusiasm to my work. This is an incredible answer. Holy smokes. While I didn't have a traditional job during that period, I remained actively involved in the industry and used the time to enhance my expertise. This is amazing. I'm excited to bring the knowledge and insights I gained during my sabbatical to contribute, contribute to the growth and success of this organization. Okay, now let's look at the reasoning. In this response, it's important to emphasize that the gap was a purposeful choice to invest in personal and professional growth. Amazing. Mention specific activities that were undertaken to show a commitment to continuous learning and development. By framing the gap in a positive light, you demonstrate that you utilize the time effectively and are eager to bring new skills and perspectives to the table. You cannot answer that question better than that, in my humble opinion. Now, if you want to go, okay, great. You just copy down and paste that answer. 
put it in your document and memorize it or at least memorize the principles and then just ask it another question you know can you tell me uh, I had a problem with a customer um, how did how should I handle it whatever something like that whatever it is just hit enter and it will go through the process again and here it goes listen actively remain calm so this is all you need to do to answer the hardest questions on your interview according to chat GPT you're gonna get that job you're gonna crush it if you get the job leave a comment below let me know how it worked thanks for watching